I'm James Holter with American Motorcyclist Magazine. We're here at our top secret testing facility in southeastern Ohio. And uh, I'm riding my new best friend today, the Husaberg FE 570. It's a 2009 model. This is a brand new bike, brand new top to bottom. As you can see, the motor on this thing is uh, un unreal. It's like nothing else. they took uh, took a normal dirt bike motor turned it around backwards and tilted it up on its side so as you can see the cylinder is actually facing this way and the whole point of this um, is to get the crank the heaviest part of the motor right in the middle of the center of gravity and the idea is that it centralizes a gyroscopic force there's someone else out there who can say this a lot smarter than I can but that's basically the idea it works is when you're riding this thing which isn't a small motorcycle 570 cc's is a really big bike it's not light um, the published dry weight is like 250 some pounds um, so again this isn't like you're riding a 125 cc motocross bike in the woods but with that mass centralized um, it transitions so much better than a bike of this size Southern Ohio red clay leaves. Uh, water's been raining all week. This is just the snottiest stuff you'll ever see. And this thing just torques up in second gear. No clutch at all. You can see how slow it torques up. It's just absolutely amazing. Another thing that's pretty surprising with this motorcycle is the clutch pull. It's a hydraulic clutch. It's really light. Um, uh, it, not that it has to be necessarily because there's so much torque you really don't have to slip the clutch at all if you do uh, you're probably doing something wrong um, but you can just chug this thing along in first or second gear just a little bit of throttle dial it up uh, just real easy and uh, it hooks up and it chugs along and it can really make up for a lot of mistakes uh, just with the amount of torque it puts out It's not a cheap motorcycle. This is a, a $10,000 dirt bike, so um, uh, you pay for pay for the performance you get. But uh, it is like nothing else out there on the trail. Uh, some people like uh, like to have that exclusivity, um, and it's not just for show. This is a really good bike, and uh, uh, if you can't afford it, if you like having something different, um, it could be the motorcycle for you. That's what happens when you ride too close to the trees.
Yeah, the, the whole idea of taking the motor and flipping it up on its uh, on its side like this to centralize the crank isn't necessarily something new. Uh, you have uh, there have been people who have come up with this idea before. Uh, in fact, I was talking to a KTM uh, dealer. Um, uh, in central Ohio the other day and uh, he was telling me that he had this uh, very same idea back in the early 80s when he was racing the ISDs. So he sketched it out on his, uh, uh, sketched it out on his kitchen table. Um, I guess the difference though is that it took these, uh, took these crazy Swedes to actually go out and do it. Yeah.